everyone, it's Pri. I'm here with a quick haul followed by a process video using the brand new Isabella collection from Close to My Heart. And I am on the Erica Rose Creates design team for Close to My Heart. So I will have her link in the description box below. So if you'd like to pick up some of these items or if you just like to um, shop with Erica, you can do so using my link. Uh, well, her link, just I'm posting it. <laughs> All right, so let's go through this quickly. I've got some things to show y'all along with this collection and then we'll just hop right into the process video. So this is the 12 by 12 cardstock sticker sheet. I love this collection. It is beautiful. It's so summery. It's got lots of blues with the yellows and the trendy lemons and I am loving the pink and this really pretty minty green or not minty green um sage color that they threw in as well as the grays. So it is gorgeous. I can't wait to create with this. I've had it on my desk for a little bit and I haven't had a chance to play with it and yeah I'm really excited. Okay so this is the cardstock sticker sheet and let's get into the pattern papers. So this one, I don't know what this one's called. Is this called anything? I don't think so. So this is the A side and it just to me looks like the prettiest kitchen tiles ever. So this would be really fun to cut up and to make fun things with. And this is the B side, which is a really pretty um, chevron blue. I'm sorry, I'm trying to find a place to put this. My desk is just a mess. That's what happens I guess when we create and I'm horrible at cleaning up after myself when I'm done creating. Okay, so here is this paper. This has got um, some yellow little, um, a little pattern on it and this is a really pretty blue. And then lastly, we have these florals with some lemons. These would be fun to fussy cut. And then this gorgeous, gorgeous like um, foliage, like, like, uh, not, what am I trying to say? They're not twigs, but they're just these really pretty leaves. I love it. Oh, it's so pretty and this green is gorgeous. Okay, so I'm gonna leave these papers on my desk. She also sent me to work with or to play with and I'm so excited to try this. Um, this is the Smiles from the Garden stamp and thin cuts. So everything that is outlined in blue, I believe there's a die for. Let's just see, yeah. Okay, so here is the stamp set. And lots of butterflies, lots of great phrases. I really want to stamp these and emboss them and then um, ink blend some colors onto them. Just so pretty. This, uh, this flower, like all of these flowers basically can really go a long way. You can stamp and fussy cut, not fussy cut, but obviously die cut these out and have them as embellishments. So to me, a stamp and a die set, especially ones with these kind of icons, they really go a long way and you basically have your own, you can make your own embellishments whenever you need them. So th once again, this is the Smiles from the Garden and here is the images again, a little bit easier to see on that cardstock lots of fun okay so that is that she also sent this lemonade um, ink pad and it's a really pretty yellow and then I went ahead and picked up um, separately because I honestly love the close to my heart inks they are one of my favorites they are magnetic um, and really easy to work with and just super fun and I love to watercolor with them like mixed media wise I love to ink blend and they're amazing so I picked up bluebird and sage and these of course match this collection so here, yeah, you can see, ooh, so pretty. And then I also picked up these Isabella acrylic shapes just to add extra embellishments to my layouts. I love acrylic pieces and these are really, really fun. So we get some um, flowers, we get the same little designs that are on the pattern papers. We get these little floral pieces with the leaves as well. So yeah, Let's see if there's anything different. Oh, look at this one, look how pretty that is, isn't it gorgeous? It's kind of hard to see, and I'm sorry if you hear my dog. We have somebody working in the backyard, and it's hard to tell because it's so dark here. You can kind of see it. Okay, so those were the acrylic shapes. Um, I also picked up some wood veneer hearts because these are great to add into my clusters, and I love the outlined hearts as well as the full ones. And then I also picked up, because I love a pocket life card, um, these are, uh, let's see, or journaling cards, I should say. There's 24 in here. And to me, I, I love these, even though I'm not a pocket scrapbooker. Um, I mean, I could fussy cut this, I could punch that out. Like there's lots of um, possibilities for additional embellishments. 
Like, look, isn't that cute? So yeah, and I just happen to love three by four cards, honestly. I have so many of them, and I not only do I like to matte, but this would make a really cute uh, mini album as well. We go way back, it's so cute. Oh, I love this one. So fun, make lemonade. And then three by four cards. So really pretty. The one says babes, brunch, and bubbly. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? <laughs> Happiest together. So yeah, just a lot of fun patterns. Oh, and they are double-sided. Of course, the three by fours are. Um, love, you and me. These are pretty. Time spent with you is time well spent. So yeah, same idea on the on the back side. Some of them are just flipped. So if you need it to go like this in your pocket scrapbooking, you can. But yeah, I'm totally fussy cutting this out. <laughs> but yeah, so that is the Isabella collection along with some of the ink pads that I received and the smiles from the garden the stamp scent uh, stamp set, I should say. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up so I can get started on my process video. I'll see you there in just a second. All right, let's get to our process video using the Isabella collection as well as this gorgeous stamp set that I just showed you in my haul video. So first I'm going to take a few butterflies from this stamp set and I'm gonna go ahead and use my little mini Misty stamping tool. And I prepped a piece of Nina white cardstock with some of the EK Success powder tool just to make sure that I don't have any um, like dust and all that stuff when I prep it or when I stamp it with my Versamark ink because I am going to heat emboss all of these butterflies. So I stamped it twice, one on the top and then one on the bottom. That way I could have eight different butterflies and I'm going to take some white and yeah, white. I had to make sure I wasn't using clear, um, white embossing powder and just sprinkle that on top of the butterflies and then carefully, of course, pour my embossing powder back in my um, little container. And yeah, so I, I got a little bit on my desk, so I just dusted it off real quick. All right, so, and that stuff goes everywhere. All right, so here's where the magic happens. When you add heat to the embossing powder, it just completely melts and it is so magic and I, it's so satisfying to watch, I love it. So I'm just going to emboss all of the rest of my butterflies and get them prepped. I did want to ink blend on top of each butterfly so it creates a little resist. So I pulled out some of the inks that I just purchased um, or the lemonade I was given by Erica um, one obviously is the yellow lemonade, the other one's sage, and the other one's bluebird, and they match this collection perfectly. So I've just got my blending brushes and I'm going to carefully um, ink blend the color on to each butterfly, kind of concentrating more on the center to give it a little bit of depth and then have less color out towards the wings. Now I did keep in mind that when I am going to go and die cut them, um, the color is going to go beyond the wings. So I'm not going to have like a white outline and I, and I was totally fine with that. I knew it and I didn't mind having the color go outside of the edges of the wings. So this pink color is Flamingo from my stash. Since the Isabella collection does have some pinks, I did want to, of course, add some pink butterflies. So now I'm going to go ahead and get the dies for this stamp set and, um, hold on. I forgot the name. Sorry, I just wanna reference it. Oh, so here, this stamp set is called Smiles from the Garden um, and it's the stamps and thin cuts. So here are those gorgeous butterflies. I went ahead and also stamped some leaves and some of like the little foliage um, and die cut those as well using the same exact ink colors. So I love how they turned out. They're so fun. Um, I do like the fact that the stamped images have the white outline, but then my butterflies have, you know, the color ink blended beyond the, um, the wing lines and that's fine. Like to me, it just provides some contrast and I love how they, how they turned out. So I did, of course, I love ink blending. It's so like therapeutic to me and I love creating ink blended backgrounds. So I just took a piece of textured white cardstock and I've got this gray and it's, uh, the color is pewter. And I'm just going to blend it with some of the Flamingo ink just to have a little subtle background for everything to sit on. I did fussy cut that lemon with the little flowers out of one of the um, journaling cards. And then I'm just going to quickly go through these as well to see if there's any other ones that I want to either matte or um, use 
like as an uh, as an embellishment or ephemera. So I'm choosing this card right here and I'm going to use it as my title. And I don't really do stuff like that. I usually, if I have phrase ephemera or embellishments, I, they kind of are like a secondary embellishment or like a subtitle. But for this one, I was like, I really like this saying. And it's a, the picture I'm using for this layout is of me and my son. And it's out of his little birthday party that he had um, last weekend. So I just, and it's very like... It's kind of like pulling teeth to get him to take a photo. Well, wait, no, I take that back. He doesn't mind taking photos with me. He is just very selective as to which what photo I use to scrapbook. Um, but he did approve this one, I think. Let's cross fingers because I'm sure I'll, I'll hear about it if he doesn't. Okay, so anyways, I matted the photo using a few other cards and then as well as some pattern paper from the collection. And then this main uh, image that I fussy cut from those cards, is it's going to be like a the main part of the embellishment, one of the embellishment clusters. Um, so I'm just going to build off of that. And then there is that little phrase that I cut out and I'm going to distress the edges just to, you know, give it some interest. And I'm just going to tuck it right here. And I usually like put everything without having any, like a, like a void. And this one kind of does a little bit like below it and it didn't bother me. And I really, really liked how it turned out. So this was, this came together a little bit differently in regard to my title. Usually I would have that and then maybe another title, but um, yeah, I like how it, I like how it turned out. So I've already adhered everything down. I've popped up the butterfly wings. I've added some um, tangled thread and some foam tape to, you know, obviously give some dimension. And I did pull in some of these Isabella acrylic shapes and I adhered those down with my Scotch Tacky glue in just a few areas, just adding some white. And it's just, I love how clean and simple this layout is, even though I did do some heat embossing and some stamping and ink blending. Um, I just love how this turned out and I love this collection. It's so fun. It's so summery. And I'm just going to finish it off with a few of these loose sequins and get those um, into some clusters. Uh, but that's it. I had so much fun. This collection, like, like I said, is gorgeous. And um, I love the stamp set. I love to heat emboss and, you know, look at the resist. So this is the final layout. Thank you so much for watching, commenting, and subscribing. Like I said in my haul video, I will have uh, Erica's link in the description box below so that you can shop with her um, at Close to My Heart. So thanks again, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.